Howdy, Paz and Patty here, and yes, what day of the week is it? Is it Tuesday? Yes, I think somewhere in the multiverse, it must be a Tuesday. So I had it on my mind to do a hashtag trash trash Tuesday. So I started pulling out some trash, a lot of trash from under the table there. And I made a pile on the table, but down here on the floor, I've got some trash in here, which is very heavy. And then I've got some... Oh, excuse me, a little tiny trash in my little tiny trash box. And I have an entire tub of trash downstairs in the magical basement, I'm afraid to say. So I got a little overwhelmed with the amount of trash that I've saved. And I was like, hmm, what can I do here? And then I remembered I took an old calendar and I made this little flow journal. Now a flow journal is like the flow magazine, which is a resource for journalers. And so you can make a little flow journal out of anything and fill it with pockets. And then in the pockets, put little bits of things that you can use in your journal. And this was to be a sort of like a coloring book ephemera journal and I'm going to be cutting up some more coloring books you know little images that I like from the coloring books and put them in these pockets and then I'll pull them out and use them in my journaling or maybe just pull some out when I feel like doing some coloring too put them back in and then they'll be ready to put in a journal so with this in mind and if you didn't see this I'll link this video below let me put that down there. There's so much on the table right now. I was thinking, well, I have <laughs> I have all these cereal boxes and maybe I can cut these because they're, you know, they're like cardstock. They're like a very light, light cardboard. And <laughs> it's just a pile of stuff here. And make a little flow journal. I can put some pockets maybe or some tucks or some belly bands or a variety of things and put them together. And I like the cereal boxes because you know they're they're large and so the pockets will be big and I can fit things in the pocket and I love this as a spine. Look at the Cheerios there. But if I use this as a spine, then I have to attach some pages inside. Hmm. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but as always, once I get started, I'll get plenty of ideas. So come on along. This is a little big to work with under that camera there. So what I'm doing first is I slit the front of the Cheerios box and I'm gonna take off this side panel. And this is the side that it is glued together. I'm just gonna get rid of this. And then trim it up. I'm trying to think of ideas on how I'm going to do this. My first idea, you know, was to put uh, three rings on here, make it ring bound, because the coloring book ephemera journal is ring bound. But then I saw this spine, and I'm like, hmm. I could just cut it off and use that spine in a journal. That might be fun and not worry about it and use my ring bound idea. And the idea with the rings is, you know, I can make it pretty big. I have some smaller rings, but I can always get some larger rings. And it's the quickest and easiest thing to do. So if you're new at junk journaling, 
Doing a ring bound journal is really easy. Punch three holes, put in three rings, and you have a journal. The other easy thing is just to take a, a notebook and say, this is my journal, and use that. All those ideas are good. So that was my first idea. Now my second idea was to keep this spine and then attach some cereal boxes on the inside. I don't know if I can fit two. I got a whole bunch of them. Let's see. Let's see if two will fit. They're kind of floppy and it's kind of hard to measure. So let me do it this way with a ruler. And it is, yeah, you know, we'll call it two inches. And the big box is mm, three and a half. So it's a little too big. So I think, I think I'm gonna go with the easy way. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the easy way. As much as I love that idea. Don't make life difficult. <laughs> Don't make life more difficult than what it is. Somebody's knocking on my door. Should I go see who it is? It could be Miss Stinky Winky Woo. <laughs> it could be little Miss TT. It is Miss Stinky Winky Woe. Come in for a visit. All right, so I'm going to go with this. I'm going to use the largest cereal box, the family size, for the front and back cover. Um, I had some rings here. Oh, here they are. I'm going to use these rings to start with because I have three of them. I'm going to mark three holes like this and put the rings on. And then I'm gonna sit here for a couple of minutes and just cut up a couple more of these boxes for pages. And then while I'm doing that, oh, this one's already cut. I'm going to think about, oh, I got more. <laughs> and these are already cut too. All right, I got a whole bunch of these. So that's a good start. And then I'll think about, um, yeah, some of this junk that I can use for pockets. Now, do I want to decorate this too? Hmm. I could decorate it too, couldn't I? I could just glue something on there, you know, like a calendar page or something, just to make it fun and colorful. Step one, <laughs> I'm making this up as I go along, but step one, I took the largest Cheerios box and I measured about where the middle was going to be, about approximately, and then I went down four inches and up four inches, and that's where I'm gonna punch my holes for the rings. Now I'm gonna use my crocodile, and I set it for a half an inch so I'm going to put it all the way in there, looking for the line. And hole number three. Okay. So I'm going to use this as my guide to mark all the other ones so I don't have to measure every single piece because this is just a trash journal for my trash. Now the other Cheerios boxes are smaller and I'm going to line them all up at the bottom. This is not necessary, but I think it'll stand on the shelf a little better if I line them all up at the bottom. 
and this this is the back one yeah this is the back one so just line it up at the bottom and I'm gonna mark my circles like this and then punch them out hard working under this camera okay so I'm gonna do that that's the back that's so I've got one two three four five six and the cover and I think that'll be a good start yes that's going to be a good start so I'm going to punch those holes and not put the rings on yet because I'm thinking that it would be easier to work on this while it's still apart and maybe decorate it and add the pockets now this is so tall I can do two levels of pockets or one pocket for some big ephemera like this or smaller pockets for some smaller things all right so let me get that done uh, I got these calendars at a yard sale <laughs> several years ago my goodness I've got a whole bunch of them left I've been using them a little here a little there but they're bright and colorful and I'm thinking maybe I'll use it to Let's see how I'm going to do this. <laughs> All right, think, think, think. All right, so it's going to wind up like this, right? It's going to wind up like that. I could just glue this down right in the middle because that window is kind of centered there. And then I'll cut it out. I know this; these are cut kind of wonky, but that's okay. Let's just do it. And I've got all kinds of trashies that I play in. I got the Big Papa Bear Trashy Journal and the Mama Bear Trashy Journals and the Little Teeny Tiny Baby Bear Trashy Journals. Yes, and they're all a lot of fun to play in. And I'm always collecting way too much trash. Because packaging is so fun and colorful. Now you can use wrapping paper, magazine pages, oh my gosh, any manner of things, coloring book pages, whatever you have. Whatever you have. Now I know I'm going to have to repunch these holes, but I just wanted to get them all. Oh, there's my clock. Oh my goodness. The morning dove o'clock already. The days are just going by too quickly. I'm not even going to look at the other side until I cut it. I'll be surprised. <laughs> flip it oh nice look at that gorgeous all right but I want to make a pocket what should I make the pockets out of hmm. all right let me go through my other trash box all right the Marie calendars <laughs> ready to bake frozen pies were on sale at the grocery store <laughs> So I had a couple in the freezer and today I made the cherry crunch pie because I eat way too much junk. All right, if I want that there, all right, I'm going to take this down a notch and cut that. And you can mix and match your trash any way you want to. 
packaging and calendars and any kind of images. That looks good. And it's always good to know where your trash came from. See, you don't have to hide all the words. I do like cherry crunch pie. Keep frozen. I'm not really thrilled about, but, you know, I could leave that. It's perfectly fine. Or if at some point in time I find something I want to cover that with, I will. So I'm going to do a couple of these pages with you today and then I'm going to put it together and put a little bit of trash in here so you can see exactly where I'm going with this. I will not get the whole thing finished today. <laughs> yeah, because it's going to take me a while to um, glue on all these backgrounds and pockets. Okay, I'm going to put this sideways so you can see it. And I'm reaching across here. I could put a clip until it dries. And then we'll come back to it. And on this side, yeah, I'm going to put a pocket on this side too, but I'm going to finish this side first. Okay, I'm going to let this one dry. And I'm just going to throw that down on the floor and grab another one and another calendar page. All right, now this one I don't want to do in the middle because Kitty's up in the corner, so I'll probably do something like this. Only it's going to go this way. We missed a lot of the tag sales last year. I don't know why. Be busy or it was raining on the weekend. And so far this year, it's been rainy. Now I could take something like this and make a little pocket like that if I wanted to. Okay, I'm going to glue this down. We might get to the flea market for our very first flea market of the season Sunday. Last Sunday was Easter time with the fam. The Sunday before that was opening day and we woke up to frozen puddles on the ground and 36 degrees and wind and I said no I'm not going I'm not going <laughs> oh we had like four inches of rain the night before yeah and it would, would have been a terrible muddy mess once the sun came out and melted some of the ice. <laughs> April. April, I love these colors. It's green and yellow. This orange kitty. Okay, now she needs a pocket. Ooh. I just went over to the sewing machine. I have these beautiful tissue boxes. Perfect, right? I have to take it apart. <laughs> I have to take it apart. So I'm going to open the end carefully. Let's see. There. Now it's open. We're ready to be used. I think I'll take this panel here. I ripped it a little bit. That's okay. I'm going to trim it down. I like to cut that little seam part off so that it lies flatter. And I'm probably just going to put that right in the middle. Mark it like that. Okay. 
always something a little wonky, but that doesn't matter. Wonky is just another word for possum perfect. Love it, love it. I guess I should clip this one, right? Like the other one. And then we're going to punch holes. And then we're going to get some trash. And get this thing together. Okay, I'm going to do one more. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So bright and colorful. Okay, I'm just going to glue this one down, same way as the others. Okay, what do you think of putting this very tropical toucan Kleenex box with these flowers? We've got the orange there, very nice. Got some dark colors. This doesn't have to match. I'm just playing and having fun with it. You can mix and match your trash any way you want to. I just love to play. Okay, I'm going to glue this down the same way as I did the other two. And then I'm going to get this together, I think. I'm taking a second look at this picture. And the other one I centered and trimmed the edges. But the two cans are a little bit more to this side. So I think I'm going to line it up with this edge over here. First, I'm going to cut this blue part off like that. And then Cheerios is coming out with this Happy Heart Shapes limited edition. And the Cheerios actually have these little heart shapes. Not all of them. Some of them are round. And there's different words on the packaging. And what do I have? I have family, dad, and my love. And it's in two languages, one on one side, one on the other, Spanish, Espanol. And my love, mi amor. Did I get a mom? No. <laughs> they didn't have a big variety when I was shopping for my Cheerios, but I have seen other boxes. And it says, collect all of them. And I'm wondering what General Mills expects you to do with all the different boxes. I wonder if they're meant to be put into junk journals. Hmm. Or make junk journals out of them. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, let's see. Oh, I saw a cartoon the other day that was really funny. I think actually, I think my cousin sent it to me. Yeah, you know, today kids are on their you know iPhones or iPads or little gaming things at breakfast time. And when we were kids, we actually read the back of the cereal box at breakfast <laughs> while you were sitting there eating your cornflakes or whatever. You read the back of the cereal box. I know, not as exciting. Am I out of clips? No. Okay, I'm going to put one more on there. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> I was going to put this together and I'm like, well, let me show the folks how I'm going to put a pocket on the front of the Cheerios box. And I grab this paper out of a little booklet, excuse me, threw down on the floor. <laughs> and I've been using the covers and the inside covers and my journals. They're some free giveaway stuff from the library. And I, I like this pretzel and this orange with this yellow. And then I'm looking at the floor. I've got these scraps from the other page. And I'm like, I can decorate this. Or I can take a picture out of one of these little books. 
Oh, they're hugging. Will that fit on there? <laughs> Will that fit on there? That's cute. It says, I volunteer. I love helping out at the animal rescue where I got my cat, Tiger. Hmm, let's see. Somebody was commenting about how easily entertained I am, and I, I'm like, yes, I just get joy out of the simplest things. I can spend a few dollars at the Dollar Tree and play, get free stuff from the library and play. Aw. Love it, I love it. Yeah, I'm just going to trim this a little bit more, I think. And I'm going to glue it on that pocket. And then let me see if I can get this together. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. <laughs> Without getting sidetracked, throw this on the floor behind me. Okay, this should be almost dry. And I have to take the crop a dial. So. Then I'm going to go back over my holes and this way I don't have to crop so many layers at one time all right so this is going to go here and here and not that one and this one and this one and this is trash and these like that and then this is the cover and I could do something on the cover if I wanted to add some fun things to the cover and take my rings Ooh, will I put ties on my rings like I do my other ring journals Ooh, that might be a good way to use up some little scrap material I can always add lots more pages, lots more pockets, and I will be doing that. This is pretty long, hard to get under the camera. Now, do you have to use all the same cereal boxes? No, 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 no. I just happen to have all these Cheerios. So that's what I'm using, but I might put some other kinds of pages too and I I might mix it up like in between the Cheerios put some different kinds of pages with some different you know heavier I'm looking around the room heavier material things you know I don't know maybe packaging other packaging although that I think this is gonna be trash yeah this is gonna be trash this is my plan when I get trash I'm gonna cut out the parts I think I might want to use I usually don't use the side panels of course I'll say that now and then I'll think of something I want to use it for but that's okay plenty more trash in the world I can get rid of all the excess and try to fit it under the camera. Just put these in a pocket like that. Let's get some more trash. <laughs> What's this? Oh, this is that thing from the embossing folder. And I love this blue, but this would be awesome to die cut something and look. On the back it's got a little bit of a pattern it does have some staple holes but that's okay and it's got this cute little picture up there so I probably want to save this whole thing so yeah so I'm gonna stick that in a pocket nothing like having a place to neatly put your trash what else do I have here <laughs> oh I was using this yeah, I think when I was gel plate printing, because this is corrugated, and I cut out a heart, and then I, 
I believe I ripped some of the paper off to get that corrugated look. So corrugated cardboard is always a lot of fun to put in your trashy. Now this is kind of thick, but let's see if we can get this down to some kind of manageable piece here. A diamond painting kit came in this. Well, that might be good, right? That might be good. We can, you know, turn the page and stick it in. It's very thick. It's very thick. But I can see already I'm going to need lots more pockets and lots more pages. And maybe some smaller pockets on a page. Yeah, maybe I can take a page and make like two pockets for some small things like this. Oh, here's some Mike and Ike. <laughs> you know my Mike and Ikes. Okay. All right, last one. Last one. Look how fun and colorful and gluten-free this package of Mike and Ike's is. Mike and Ike. Ta-da! <laughs> Ta-da! I love it. I love it. That's a little wonky. So I, I think I'm going to get some ties. Yeah, and put some ties like this on the edge. And I think that's going to make it really fun. All right, so this might look a little different the next time you see this. <laughs> well, it was really fun getting this together. And now I can just come in and sit down. And when I get a, you know, a nice piece of trash, <laughs> I can pop it into a pocket. Or maybe I'll have an extra couple minutes during my morning quiet time. And I'll put some more backgrounds and some more pockets in here. And maybe even some more pages. When I get a big piece I can put in here. Yeah, and just have fun. This is, you know, just relaxing, gentle journaling, gentle, just kind of meta journaling because you're journaling to get ready to do journals. Meta journaling, right? A flow journal for my other journals. Oh, this is really funny. So I'm grabbing the trash and I'm going to put some in here. And I pull out this. It says Pez Visitor Center. You know the Pez candies? I did get my grand nieces and nephew some Easter Pez. I gave them to them for a little treat. And I was like, there's a visitor center here in Connecticut, and you can go to the Little Pez Museum and buy special Pez things. And I'm like, ooh, I bet you Flat Stanley would love to go on a visit here, you know, go everywhere, see everything. And who wouldn't love a Pez Museum? <laughs> I love stuff like that, yeah. So I'm going to leave this out and go on the website and see when, you know, when their visiting hours are. Oh, I need to break down this tissue box here. But that's enough play for today. And I just want to thank you. Oh, look at this. I'm sorry. <laughs> this calendar page has tulips on it. Isn't that awesome? And look, there was also a page with a windmill. That's got to go in a spring journal for sure. All right, enough of that. <laughs> So thanks for coming along today for a little bit of a trashy play. Bye-bye.